social media and stuff. What's y'all take on that, man? Just in general, like a generalized take. How y'all feel about that? It's like, I don't know. I feel like, I, I think we know that there's issues with it. I think that there's a lot of nuance to it. I think that there's something where, like, it can be something that's cool and enjoyable. Mm -hmm. But I think that at the state we're at right now, you know, there's a lot to it that can feel kind of fake. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that it'd be nice. You give your opinion real quick. Okay. All right. Now, I think I think social media is a great tool. I think it'd be good to like promote your stuff and everything. That's how we get out there. Yeah, man. I mean, you got you got to promote it some way. Don't take advantage of like the technology, like digital age. Mm -hmm. But I think I think like especially with our generation, we're entering like an age where it's almost so much that people don't go outside no more. Especially like when um, everybody was in quarantine and stuff. You know, you saw like the, the deterioration of social skills. But um, people just don't want to talk no more, and I think it's because. It's like, why go out and talk when I have it all on my phone or all on my computer? But also, I think it'd be dangerous to, like, if, and not everybody does this, but if you put too much attention to it, it almost becomes an alternate version of yourself. Y'all get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like a performance. Mm. And that can kind of deteriorate and take away from who you actually are because you're almost trying to perform to meet a certain persona. Mm. And... I think that's the danger of it. But if you're not doing that, I mean, if you're using it as a tool or just to connect, because when you do get off all of it, you kind of do, because, like, let's just be real, like, like literally half, over half the population probably has social media, right? Like, yeah. So when you get away from that, you're kind of, like, disconnecting with people in a way. Mm. So I got to ask, is that, like, why you, like, left for a bit? Yeah, yeah. Um, I deleted it. And I don't want to say, like, I regret it. But part of me wants to, for example, like Snapchat. Snapchat's good. Like keep up with like the homies and people, mm -hmm. and check up on them. But I think, I think personally, I think I deleted it, especially like my Instagram, because I think, um, I think like the ego was taking over me. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And I had to kind of humble myself, and really just see like, hey man, this is just this ain't who you are. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't want to perform all the time, but. I kind of wanted to disappear, but I think I almost, like, I don't want to say I, like, eliminated myself, but, like, I deleted, I guess you can say I deleted a part of myself in a way. Because, you know, mm -hmm. we're, Gen, we're Gen Z, we all grew up with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, maybe you had it when you were 11, 12. So, in a way, it kind of is, like, a part of you. So, I can't say that. Yeah. Mm. Nah, I'd say, uh, like, you in high school, you had, you did have that, like, reputation as, like, the video guy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like... And I'd say uh, those videos were, like, good for the uh, community that you sort of, like, single-handedly put together as far as, like, this, the students. There were, like, a ton of times where just, like, being a part of those videos, whether on camera or, like, indirectly, like, I did end up meeting people through you that I probably wouldn't have beforehand either, too. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of, like, where that all made sense, too, is, like, bringing people together, making new connections, and doing something that's just as lighthearted, but, like, all those other things behind it also kind of, like, added up, too. Like, genuine, not just, like, the video. It's, like, everything that the people and the community and stuff that came with it kind of connects. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. That made my day, yeah. for real. Thank y'all. To get more into, like, Javon, um, or a little bit of what we're talking about, um, throughout high school, around, would you say... What grade did you start doing that? Probably like junior year. I, I was going to say, year. yeah. Yeah. Right, around the time we became upperclassmen, um, Javon started these vid videos where he would, uh, essentially you, like, you would make your own music videos to songs and it would incorporate a bunch of different people. And it was like very lighthearted, very fun. And um, like we said, good for like just getting people like up and doing something like yeah. it was yeah and it it led to a lot of like popularity for you i'd say and then in turn i guess like you were saying creating that persona yeah yeah which i can get how it can be unhealthy so yeah i entirely understand like stepping away but 
you did a good thing, I'd say, by like making them in the first place. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. Man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank. Yeah. I might might do it again, man. I don't know if it'd be obviously it won't be like the same kind of like high school. Oh, sure. We're out of yeah, high school, yeah. but um. No, that'd be kind of weird if you, <laughs> if you went back like, hey, <laughs> hey remember, remember me? Like, I know I like deleted yeah. everything, but like, remember me? Yeah. I'd go like maybe just like just community where I'm at, or just like just in general, man. Maybe just like just get people back together and just kind of try to, especially like while I'm back home now, mm -hmm. and try to just connect because I think I think that's important. I think as you know, as we grow as i said like in the digital age i think it's important to just face-to-face -face communication like as we're having right now mm -hmm. people don't do this that much 